Ba-boom, ba-boom. Hey. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Lynn, girl in the shop, and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. You know, Christmas is approaching. It always sneaks up on you, doesn't it? And suddenly it's Christmas and you're probably of the mentality that it would be nice to make a few presents yourself. I mean, if you go shopping and you take a walk in a few stores, you might come across a couple of nice things and you think to yourself, I could totally make that. If you're like me, however, sometimes these presents tend to get away from you. I don't know, life happens and then suddenly you have quite a few people on your list that you want to make something for. Well, if that's the case, I have one word for you. Plywood. A material that sometimes is looked upon a little unfavorably, but that is undoubtedly very practical. And if you splurge a little bit and buy a nicer grade plywood such as Baltic birch, then it is very nice to work with and quite beautiful in its own very unique way. So what do you say? First up, I'm going to make a puzzle coaster trivette. What is that? You'll see. For these presents, I'm using half inch Baltic birch. Now, Baltic birch is a little pricier than plywood you might be used to. However, it's really nice and it's totally worth the extra cost, especially when you make nice little presents like these. I start off by cutting up the puzzle template, which is available on my blog. I found that it's easier to cut up the puzzle pieces individually, as opposed to trying to cut the whole puzzle from one square on the wood. I'm using my bandsaw, however, you could certainly use a jigsaw or a scroll saw. After a little sanding, these are smooth. See what I mean? It's coasters that also turn into a trivette. Cool little project. You probably knew that plywood is made out of lots of thin pieces of wood glued together, not unlike these sheets of paper. Did you know, however, that it's extremely dimensionally stable? Well, it is. That's one. Now let's move on to number two, a tray. Now a tray is the perfect gift for anyone who eats or drinks and don't live in their kitchen. For this design, I decided to cut lots of thin strips and show off the plywood that way. I glued them all together, making sure I had good glue contact on both sides. I lined everything up, trying to get my corner straight, securing with clamps. When it had dried, I scraped off as much glue as I could, and then I set it off the rest for a smooth finish. For the handles, I designed smooth curves, which I made into a template which is available for free on the blog. I followed this to cut four pieces out on the bandsaw. I also cut one long strip, three quarters of an inch wide, and out of that I cut three quarters of an inch little pieces, eight all in total. I sanded everything down and then secured it all to the tray with glue and nails. So, what's the difference between regular plywood and Baltic birch plywood, you may ask? Well, the difference is that Baltic birch has many more layers. Uh, the birch is usually made at a really good quality, often from Finland, and there are often less gaps in between each layers, which is usually what's causing regular plywood to crack. Also, in Baltic birch and other higher grade plywoods, the each layer has a slightly different angle changing so the greens are going in all different directions when you put all that together you get an extremely strong and stable product so we have two presents let's make one more something appropriate for the way we live these days a tablet organizer I started off with gluing two pieces of plywood together to create a one inch thick piece I made sure I had good coverage and clamped it down So I'm just squaring up the sides of this piece here now. It's a little cold outside, but we can still cut, so it's good. I 
cleaned up the sides and cut it to 7 by 9.5 inches. Next, I set the blade to half an inch high with a 5 degree angle and started making several cuts to get a wide enough groove that could hold my tablet or phone. I made a variety of cuts in both directions. Some grooves were at 5 degrees and some were straight. Next, I drilled two pencil holes at an angle. So what do you guys think? I personally really like the Baltic Birch plywood. I like that it's super smooth and stable and you know, it looks a little bit modern and almost industrial and I think that looks really cool and I think that you should really highlight that it is plywood by not painting over it or anything like that. So what to use for finish? Hmm. I decided to go for polyurethane. It's durable, it's clear, it's a good base choice. I had an oil based on hand which adds a slight yellow tone. However, you could always go for water-based polyurethane if you want to minimize that. Another option would be shellac, however, probably not on coasters since it's soluble in alcohol. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some good ideas. I mean, these are just a few of a number of cool projects you can make out of nice plywood like this that hopefully will make your gift giving list a little bit easier to accomplish. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple of days. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media. You can find me uh, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and YouTube. I'm Darwin Orber. I always love reading your comments, so please comment below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, if you are doing something cool for the holidays, if you're making presents, I would love to hear what you guys are making. Comment below. 